Hello, welcome to Makeup Fun Point. I'm Christy, and welcome to another day of movies and Halloween makeup. Now, this week on the Makeup Fun Point channel, we're doing clowns, because how can you do Halloween without doing some creepy, scary, killer clowns? So today, we are going to be doing Pennywise. Now, I'm actually not going to do like straight from the movie Pennywise. I'm going to kind of recreate the look that I did last year. Was it last year? It was last year or two years ago where I did like a cut Pennywise into my face. But I think I'm gonna amp it up a little bit today, especially back to using our third degree silicone modeling compound. So let's really just, let's just get into it. Let's get to the next slide. All right, black out your eyebrows. Link is in the description below and the modeling compound. But first, let's start off with some markings. Now I'm just taking this red pencil just to give me a guide as to where I'm gonna be molding that silicone later. Now mix equal parts part A and B of the silicone modeling compound and let's just get it onto your face. I have the clear kind and this is actually the gel form. So it's a lot quicker to just mold it right on my face and just starting on the edge of those red markings. And I'm just pretty much using a metal spatula just to make it as smooth as possible on the edges. And I'm also making it really thicker, closer to where the red line is. So it looks like raised skin once we're all done and just keeping the side smooth and cutting it in the middle so it looks like we're carving into our skin. Also, bonus tip, I do use rubbing alcohol on some of the edges because it actually thins it out more and makes it even smoother so it makes it really look like it's in your skin. And you just pretty much take your patience and time and just go easy on all of it. Same thing with the cheeks, I make it thicker more in the middle towards the red lines and just make it look like it's more raised out of my skin. Once everything is done and set, I just take powder just to get rid of all the shine from the silicone. Now I decided not to use the Pennywise colors exactly at first. So I'm just here just basically using my regular foundation and just kind of patting it on more, especially when I get closer to the silicone area, just so I don't end up accidentally ripping it off. I'm just taking the lightest concealer color that I have and just putting it in my highlighted areas to a degree since you know I still need a little dimension to my face and just blending it out set everything with powder now I'm taking my red water activated face paint and I'm just coloring in all the wounds that I just created. So I'm starting off with the bright red and just filling the entire inside areas of all the wounds. Now I'm taking this darker red paint and I'm concentrating that color on the edges of the wound to give it more dimension. And I'm also packing and dabbing it on in some areas inside just to give it some texture to the wound. And again, concentrate this just more on the edges and on the ends of the wound. Now some bruise wheel time. So I'm taking that on a fluffy brush. I'm taking more of the reds and the purples from that bruise wheel just to create some irritation to the skin. Because, I mean, if you cut into your skin, you're going to have some irritation and redness going all over the place. And in some areas, my brush kind of got mixed with the paint that still got wet. But you can always fix that by going back in with my foundation brush, which I do just to blend it in together if I use too much. This is also a good trick that if you're, if some of your edges aren't fully blended into your skin and are a little bumpy, you could use this to pretty much create the illusion of just irritated skin even more and take your eye away from it. 
You could also take your concealer color on a smaller brush and just put it on the tops of your wounds just to highlight it so it looks more 3D and in your face. Now just a quick contour, nothing too crazy. Time for the eyes. Now at first I started off with just putting basic black eyeshadow on my eyes, but realized I didn't prime them. So I took my jumbo pencil in black bean, and I just pretty much blended that onto my eye first to give myself an even darker black eyeshadowed eye. And I just kind of blended that in just to give it a smokier look. And then I blended a darker burgundy shade just to mix between the blood and my eyeshadow together. And also blend the black eyeshadow on your lower lash line as well. I took that red pencil again and just put in my waterline. Curl your lashes and add mascara. We're going to add the false lashes off camera. Time for blood! Now this is a thick blood from Ben Nye which has more of a gel consistency. So I took that with my metal spatula again and I just got that really into every single wound. I just kind of filled it up, meshed it together, made it all chunky inside and just, just made it as gory as I can get it. I also took a stippling sponge just to kind of rough it up a little more just in case the blood was looking too smooth and it also pick up the residue on the sponge and just go around the wound just for any extra blood splatter that may have happened. Now I'm taking that red paint from before and just painting my clown nose, just, just a quick one, just around the tip of my nose. Last but not least, the lips. So I first started using that same paint just all over the lips, but it was just a bit too bright for me. So I decided to take a darker red liquid lipstick, first on the outer corners and the outline of my lips. And then I took a much brighter lipstick just in the middle and just mixed it all together and gave myself my clown lips. Now let's get our contacts, wigs, and costume and gloves on and it's time for a reveal. my version of Pennywise the Dancing Clown makeup. I just painted on some stripes, added contacts, and my wig and some gloves. And well, this is my version of Pennywise, as if I was an obsessed fan and had to cut it into my skin. That's not creepy at all to say. Jesus. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed getting Pennywiseified today. If you did enjoy this makeup and this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this and hit that notification bell so you can get a notification when the next video pops up. As always, be kind to others, love yourself, stay safe and stay healthy, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!